Hi, it's AJ again, and welcome to part three of the Tony and Frank video. So let's watch some more, and I'll stop and explain any difficult English. And uh, hopefully this will help you. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're, number one, you're learning some English, maybe some new phrases, or maybe just some pronunciation, and you're hearing how people naturally talk with English, you know, not CNN, not the BBC. That's not really natural conversation. This video is a very, very natural conversation, a very normal, casual, everyday style of speaking. So I hope you're listening to that too. Notice the pronunciation. Notice how the speakers pause or when they stop or when they go up and when they go down. This will help your pronunciation. And then, of course, the other thing I hope you're learning is just the content because this is really great information. Tony Robbins is a really great guy, and you can learn a lot about success and having just a better, happier, uh, you know, more wonderful life. So that's what Tony Robbins specializes in. That's what he does. He teaches people how to do that. So uh, I chose this uh, conversation for those two reasons. All right, so let's watch a little bit, and I'll pause and explain. Here we go, next part. I'm just going to do that to the best of my ability. And sure, you know, it's like, well, oh, no, I can't write copy as well as Dan Kennedy, or I don't have as much energy and drive as Tony Robbins. Well, but you didn't start so like, what? You, you didn't know, start I mean, so out got as, as much Frank Curry. You didn't start out yeah. who you are. You started out trying to make how much? Come on. $300. Okay, so first he said, you didn't start out. So Frank Kern is saying when, I, when he was poor, he had no money. He didn't know what to do. So he decided he would copy the best people. He would l try to be like them. He chose Dan Kennedy, who is great with advertising, especially internet. And he decided, well, I can't write as well as him. I, I'm not as good as Dan Kennedy, but I will try to be like Dan Kennedy. And he said, I'm not as motivated as Tony Robbins. I don't have the same energy but I will try to be more like Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins will be my role model, the person I want to be like um, personally. And Dan Kennedy will be the person I want to be like when I'm writing advertising. This is called modeling. We can use it as a verb, to model. To model means to find somebody who has the success you want already and you try to be like them. So Frank is saying, you know, I tried to do it, but I'm not as good as Tony. I'm not as good as Dan. And Tony interrupts him and says, you didn't start out as Frank Kern. He means you didn't start as this successful, famous internet business person, because now he's very famous, uh, at least for internet business, he's famous. Uh, he said, you started out trying to make how much money? And I think Frank said $3,000, just a little bit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, what, oh, a week. A week. $300. Oh, 300 I'm sorry. His first goal, Frank's first goal, was to make $300 per week. Right? Yeah. And you failed at that in the beginning, didn't I you? I failed. And he said, you failed. He wanted to make $300 per week with his internet business, and he failed. He did not make that much. And then Frank is going to joke. He said, I failed miserably. This is a common phrase. To fail miserably means to fail a lot. To fail terribly. And he also jokes, he says, but it was effortless. It means it was easy. It was easy failure. Pretty miserably, yes. <laughs> but it was effortless to fail. I was, I mean, it's just like natural. It was natural. Yeah. It was easy. But truthfully, you went from 300 bucks to, I remember you said you, your first time you believed, if I remember, was when you made like 2,500 bucks in like four or five days. It was five five days when I was on vacation. Okay, so he said you made, he said, but truthfully, he says, you, you know, you, you failed, but then, your first success, you made 2,500 bucks. Bucks, of course, means dollars. It's slang. So we say, you know, f five bucks means five dollars. So one day uh, with his business, he was working on his business, and he went on vacation. And while he was on vacation, he made $2,500 or $2,500. So we say that both ways. Both are common. When we're talking about 2,000 something, a number, you can say $2,300, that's normal. You can also say $2,300, that's also normal. 
while you're on vacation. That was when the true internet marketing dream was realized, you know, because right. I sold a downloadable product and I wasn't even there. I didn't have to ship anything. I was like, he says, this is when the true internet business, internet marketing dream was realized. It means when it happened, when it finally, I, he said, that's when I realized it was success. He says, because I sold a downloadable product. So it was a digital product. So he's like, I didn't have to be there. His, he could be on vacation, but his business was still working, right? People would, could buy his product and then they would download it from the internet and Frank could be on vacation or doing something else. He said, that was my dream, this kind of internet business. Oh my God, this was so great, you know, $2,500. And to me, that was just a gazillion, you know. So he said, $2,500. He said, to me, that was like a gazillion, like a gazillion dollars. What is a gazillion? I, I don't think it's a real number, but it's kind of slang. It means a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, right? We say, wow, he has a gazillion dollars. We don't know how much. It's not a real number. It just means he is super rich. He has a lot of money. Because my rent, I think, was like $400 or something. And, yeah. and when you told me that story before, and you just did it again, and you get so, so, you big grin on your face, right. you get more excitement on your face than when you it talk about up. doing 18, than when you talked about doing the 18 million, which I know you're proud as hell of, and you didn't get all the money, but you made 18 right. million bucks for somebody in 24 good. hours. He said, okay, so he's saying, he's, he's, te he's trying to show Frank something. One second. He's trying to show Frank something. He said, when you talk about your first success, the, the $2,500, he said, your face, you get a big grin. A grin is a big smile. And you look really happy. And he says, you look more excited. You look more happy when you talk about the first success, $2,500. Then when you talk about making $18 million in one day. So Frank Kern is famous because he... He makes a lot of money. He's super, super rich. And one time, one day, he made $18 million or possibly more. I think it was more. But at least he's ta he says, when you talk about making $18 million, of course you look happy. He says, but you look more happy when you talk about your first success. So it's an interesting point, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. But look at your face. It's like <laughs> nowhere near as excited as 2500 bucks in yeah, five days, insane. baby. It's nowhere near as excited as when he made 2500 bucks, $2,500. He's more excited about that first success. <laughs> I mean, the the 2500 bucks is just as, there's no difference. No, there's even think. more. Because there was a moment when you recognized what was possible. But you ah, so this is what, Tony, this is important. Tony is saying, why? Why are you more excited about the big success? I mean, about the first success, the first small success, $2,500. $2,500. Why is that more exciting to Frank than $18 million? And Tony says, this is why. He says, because when you made your first success, it changed your mind. Suddenly you realized what was possible. Suddenly, Frank, you realized that you could be successful. So the first success, it changed everything for Frank in his mind. He realized, I don't have to fail. I can succeed. I can be successful. That it's so, so important. If you just get a first small success, it will change your thinking, change your beliefs, change your emotions, and then you'll get more success and more success. So for Frank, that first success, it was small, but it changed his beliefs. That's why it's so powerful to him. The 18 million, of course, he's happy, but when he made 18 million, he was already a successful business person. He already believed. But the first time, he didn't really believe, but when he got the first success, he suddenly got confident. He suddenly believed. And this is important, and I talk about this with my English students, that that's why, you know, effortless English is so powerful and important. You just need that first feeling of success. I usually say it will happen in about six months. So I say, be patient. Use the effortless English system. And then, in six months, will you be perfect, speaking perfect English? No, you will not be speaking perfect English. Probably not. Maybe you will. But probably not. But what you will have is success. For some people, small. For some people, 
big. And you will suddenly, suddenly realize, I can do it. I can speak English quickly, easily, and automatically. After six months, some English words, they'll come out of your mouth. You won't think. No translation, no translating. No thinking about grammar. English will start just to come out. And you'll be surprised. And that will change everything. That's when you will get a feeling of confidence. You will believe. You will realize, I can do it. I can speak fluently. I can speak automatically. I can speak with good pronunciation. You will get the belief. That belief will change your life, just like it changed Frank's life. Okay, let's watch a little more. Just one more, one or two more. You didn't recognize it until you actually experienced it, but you only experienced it because you had to. Okay, he said, you didn't recognize it. You didn't see the success. You didn't see the belief until you experienced it, until it happened. It was small, but it's, when, you ex when you experience it, it's very powerful. When you think about it, when you imagine it, you need to do that in the beginning because in the beginning you have no experience of success. You got to imagine it in your mind. You have to see it and feel it in your mind. But the most powerful thing is when you feel it the first time, when you experience it. Right. You got to keep going until you found it. Yeah. Just like you did. Yeah, you got to keep going until you found it. He says you got to keep going, keep going until you find it. That first success is so important. In the beginning, you have no experience. Maybe you have a lot of failure in the past. Maybe with English, for example, you've tried so many schools so many textbooks, so many programs, years and years of studying and tests and all this stuff. And you have all these failures, failures. You're thinking, I've tried, I've tried, and still I cannot do it. You have to keep trying. But don't do the same thing again and again. That's crazy. If you had bad results with normal methods, if the textbooks and the normal schools did not give you automatic speaking. Well, don't keep doing the same thing. That's totally crazy. You got to keep trying different things, different things, and you keep trying. You will find success. Now, I believe that effortless English is the best system, that it works, that you will speak effortlessly, quickly, easily, and automatically when you use my system. You need about, I don't know, some people need four months. Some people need six months. A few people might need eight months, but I promise you it will happen. But let's say it doesn't for some reason. Maybe for you, for, there's a small number of people, maybe for you it doesn't work. Do you quit? No. You go and you try another method. You don't do the same old things. You keep trying. And if, if something doesn't work, you try something different, a new method. And if that doesn't work, then you try a new method. You will have success eventually. You'll find it. I believe effortless English is the secret for you. Let's watch a little more. It's like the validation that the fear doesn't have to matter anymore. That this is important, what John Reese says. He said, that first success, the first small feeling of success, the first experience, it's a validation. It means it's proof. Validation means proof or evidence that the fear doesn't need to matter anymore. It means the fear is not important anymore. That's a powerful, powerful thing he just said. When you get the first success, what do you get? It means you are free from fear, free from frustration. You get confidence. Confidence is the number one secret for success. When you get the first success, that first thing, maybe the first time you speak a phrase or a sentence in English and it's automatic. You don't think in your own language first. It just comes out. Maybe that's all it is, something so small like that. But you'll get confident. You won't be worried and afraid anymore. Oh, I can't do it. Suddenly you'll change. You'll realize, I can do it. And then just keep doing more of what you're doing. Keep using that effortless English system more and more and the successes will come more and more and more. And then you will start speaking totally fluently. That's what has happened with our, our successful members. They get that, 
They don't quit. They, they, they try for six months, and then they get this, that success. It might be big. It might be small. But when they get the success, they see it. They get this great confidence. No more fear. No more worry. And, and then they really, really improve very fast after that. One more sentence, and I'm finished. That you don't, there is no other, that, you know, not having the plan B and knowing that you're going down the one path towards what you want. Yeah. It's the validation in your brain that, hey, this works. It may not work yet on the level I want it to, but it, it works. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. This is the last sentence. He said, that experience, that first success, it's, he says, it shows you that you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. You're using the right method. And you, there's no more plan B. Plan B means another plan, another method, another path. It's like when you get the first success, you realize, I'm doing the right thing. I don't need to change. I, he says, maybe the success is not at the level you want. You know, for example, it's not as powerful as you want. Frank Kern wanted to be, you know, very rich. But the first success, it was just, you know, maybe here, $2,500. He wanted $25 million maybe. I don't know, maybe. So $2,500, it's not $25 million. It's not total, total success. But he could see I'm on the right path. Oh, my God, it's working. And he says, so, so what do you need to do? You just got to do more of this. You got to keep improving. Keep following the method, but get better, get better. And then next time, maybe it's $5,000. And then maybe it's 10000 And then finally, he does get to $25 million, And now he's making even more money. With English, maybe it's the first sentence that's automatic. It comes out of your mouth automatically. Or maybe it's not speaking. Really, probably the first thing you will see is that your understanding will become faster and faster and faster. You'll understand more and more. And you'll understand more quickly. You will start to understand some English automatically. No translation to your language. You just hear it and you understand the meaning. There's no translating. That's probably actually the first thing you will see, the first success you will see with effortless English. When you see that, when that happens, even with one sentence, you know, ah, it's not the level you want, right? You want total speaking fluency. You want to speak totally automatically with good pronunciation and understand automatically. So that's up here, that's the top level. But your first success, you'll just notice, I understood that sentence, or I understood that piece of conversation automatically. It was easy. I didn't think in my language. I just, I heard it and I knew the meaning. That's the first level you'll see. And then maybe the next level, you'll start to speak automatically. In the beginning, maybe one sentence, maybe two sentences, but it will happen. And you will see, oh my God, it's happening. I'm on the right path. I don't need another method. I don't need plan B. I just need to keep using this method more and more. Keep improving, keep improving. And then, of course, more, more, more. And then you will get to the top level. And you know what? That's it. I don't want to do too long, so I can do more of these. So this is uh, Tony and Frank 3. I should say Tony, Frank, and John 3. So I'll do this, enjoy it. You learn a few phrases, you get some nice ideas also. Think about these ideas with English and with your life, anything in your life. Maybe it's business, maybe it's um, your family and your relationships. This idea is good for everything, maybe your health and your energy. So think about this idea, powerful ideas, and you learned a few new phrases also. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will do Tony and Frank 4 in the future. And also, you know what, this is what I will do with my new VIP program. That's coming soon. My new VIP program is coming uh, maybe end of October or maybe beginning of November. We're working on it now. What will happen with that VIP program? You will get a new lesson from me, a new lesson set, actually, a group of lessons, one time every month, a new one every month. And what will you get? Well, you're going to get, number one, a video movie technique lesson, just like this. Longer than today, actually. But I will use the same thing. I'll use a video, maybe Tony Robbins, maybe uh, a movie, part of a movie, a, a short piece of a, a Hollywood movie. 
or maybe some other kind of video. And I will do this video learning technique, this movie technique. And you can learn, you know, some really real conversational English. Number two, you'll get a set of audio lessons. So that will be my normal mini stories, you know, when I ask all those questions and you answer the questions. Those are the most powerful effortless English lessons, the mini stories. So you'll get a mini story, a new one each month. You'll get a new vocabulary lesson each month when I just explain the vocabulary. You know, maybe. I'm not sure about that. I, I need to think about that. I might not do that. I might not give you a separate vocabulary because honestly, I think the vocabulary lessons are not so powerful and they're a little boring. I don't really like them. I think I can teach you vocabulary using the mini story and using the movie technique and it's more interesting and fun for you. So maybe I'll just do this. In the audio lesson, you'll get a mini story, very powerful. And when there's new vocabulary, I will explain it in the story. It's more interesting and fun, more powerful. And uh, I'll probably give you a point of view lesson. That's that powerful grammar story where I tell the same story again, but with different grammar. And then you can hear, ah, you will begin to understand and use different grammar. Maybe sometimes the future, maybe the past, maybe the past perfect. You don't need to know those, you know, phrases. You don't need to know the grammar meaning. You just need to know, you know, understand the actual speaking. And that's how you get automatic understanding of grammar. And that's how you use grammar automatically and correctly. And finally, maybe I'll do a little audio commentary. I will talk about the subject of the video a little more. So that's going to be the VIP program. It's a subscription program. So, so you'll pay a little bit every month. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe $37. Maybe I'll have a special that's a little bit shorter just one day. But the normal price, probably $37 per month. And one more thing, the theme, the topic of the movies, the topic of the videos, the topic of the audio commentaries will be global leadership. I'm, I want to focus on leadership. So, you know, this video, for example, is really a, it's about leadership and personal growth. It's about becoming a more successful, happy, strong person. And, you know, when you do that, when you become happier, stronger, more successful, you know, it's not just for you, right? It's not just for you. You, when you do that, everybody in your life is better and happier. If you're married, your wife or your husband, will they benefit when you are happier and more successful and healthier? Of course they will. You will help them be healthier, happier, and more successful. Your children will benefit. If you have a company or a business, the people you work with will benefit. Your company will benefit and grow because you are growing as a person. So that's why I want to focus on this idea of leadership because it's not just for us personally. Yes, I want you to speak better English, just you, you personally. But I also want you to use English to become a global leader, a leader in the world, a leader with your family a leader in your job or your business. And when I say leader, I don't mean you're the big boss. I don't like that kind of leadership. When I say leader, I mean you are helping other people somehow. You're giving to them. You're helping them. You're teaching them. You're contributing to them. In my mind, that is leadership. You can be a leader with your children. You can be a leader with your wife or husband. It doesn't mean you're above them. They're a leader to you also. It just means you're giving to them. You're helping them. You're teaching them. You want them to be happier and have a better life. In your job, if you have your own business, in all, in your, if you're in school, all of these ways, you can be helping other people. We should not only think about just ourselves. Yes, we need to be better, but why? so we can make the world better. So that's why I say the VIP program coming soon. It's an English program, yes, but it's also a global leadership program. We're going to learn how to be better leaders for our family, for our business and our job, and for just the world in general. So I hope you'll join us with the, uh, and join me at the VIP global leadership program. 
And, uh, you know, if you do, you do. That's great. If you don't, that's okay, too. And I hope you're also enjoying these videos and you're learning from Tony and Frank and John. And I hope you're using this in your life. Yes, learn the English, but more importantly, learn the ideas and use them in your life. So that's all. I hope you're having a great day. And um, I'll do another one of these uh, soon. I'm, I'm super busy right now. I have so many things happening with Effortless English and we're going to travel soon. And Oh my God, I'm super busy, but I, I love giving these to you. I love you. I love my students so much. You know, thank you. You guys are so positive. This is my way to be a leader. I want to help you. I want, I, I want to help you be better with English, but I also want to help you just have a happier life. I want you to be healthier. I want you to be happier. I want you to be more successful. And then I want you to then go and help other people. In this way, I can help many, many, many people, and so can you. So have a great, wonderful day. I love you so much. Thank you, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.